Remember the priority, the main reason why you are working out. Aesthetics should be secondary. Health should be your primary goal. Okay? Today we're here to talk about the mistake that I made as a new gym goer. I was working out the same body part every day, okay? So uh, for me, I thought in order for me to grow a body part, I have to uh, <laughs> work it out every single day. And I thought it's going to give me the ultimate growth, but uh, I quickly realized that um, it didn't take me any. Every day that you see me at the gym, I'm working out the same body part. If it was a, like a glute, you see me working out uh, my glutes for a week, okay? Or hamstring for a week. This is how I was dividing my workout. Glutes for one week, hamstring for the other week, and, and so and so. And it did not help me because at the end of the day, I saw no growth. I was, I was left uh, a little bit upset and uh, disappointed at the fact that, um, there was no growth, okay? And that was my fault. I was a novice, new at the gym, didn't do the, the, the right research. New at the gym, one. And secondly, I was new to weightlifting. So therefore, I had no clue. I didn't know what to do. I didn't conduct enough research. So don't do the same mistake. The second mistake was, uh, <laughs> I was drinking a lot of protein shake. I'm sure those companies got a lot of money from me. I wasn't only stuck to one protein shake. I was drinking different protein shakes, thinking that, oh, this one is going to make me grow. This one will give me the biggest glute, the biggest arm, the biggest why not. It was hideous and hilarious, but I did it. I did it for a while. Honestly, I, I can't believe it right now looking back, but... In one, sometimes in our lives, we just have to learn the hard way. I learned the hard way. Trying different protein shake and over drinking protein shake, I learned the hard way. And I'm sure the bathroom could testify. LOL. The next point is asking people about their protein shake. Remember the other point was drinking too much protein shake and just drinking any protein shake anyhow. The other point is I was drinking, asking random people about the protein shake that they were drinking. If I see anybody at the gym that was super fit, yes, you're going to be my target. Super fit and super big. I will go to you and say, hey, what protein shake do you take? I didn't know that taking protein shake will not take you to the next level as you think. Protein shake are supplement. They are supplement for a reason. They are supplement to your already existing nutrition plan. So for me, I thought protein shake was the end of all, be it all, and why not? So whenever I go to the biggest guy or girl in the gym and she tells me this is the protein shake she takes, I'll go ahead and the, drink that protein shake for the whole week or two. If I don't see any result, then I'm like, oh, this girl or this guy, I don't know, I think... I think he lied. I don't think he's taking this same protein shake in the world. So the next one would be not caring about the right form doing workout. For me, working out, it doesn't matter what it was. I just have to do my workout. It doesn't matter what type of form I was I was taking. It doesn't matter if I'm not. <laughs> it's, there's no muscle uh, mind connection. As long as I did the workout and got out of there. Honestly, and I realized quickly that that was going to backfire because I could come home with back pain, arm pain, and, and asking for massage in the house, begging, not just asking. It was like begging, oh, massage me. I just came from the gym. Don't you see I'm working out? Please massage this body part of mine. With, I didn't know that uh, my form was wrong. So therefore, make sure that you pay attention to your form. What this point is, being too obsessed about my results and growth and toning. I was so upset. I'm like, come on, I'm doing all this workout. Remember, I'm doing this workout with doing one body part weekly, drinking a lot of protein shake, asking people about the protein shake, not having the right form. And I dare expect a, a, a growth in that whole mess. How can you grow in something like that? I was so upset about growth to the point where, okay, I'm like, okay, 
I'm going online. I'm going to go uh, to, to YouTube, the biggest this and that. The biggest that and that, you know, I spend my whole time Googling and YouTube in those topics. Because for me, I was obsessed with growth. I didn't care about the importance of why I was there in the first place. Remember, you go to the gym or whatever health regimen you are on is for you to be healthy. Don't forget that aspect. Now I know that the number one aspect and the uh, um, priority is my health. Next point was compare myself to others. Oh my God, this was the wrong mentality I had back then. Back then as a novice, this mentality was so wrong, but I did not realize that I was wrong. I was comparing myself to people who have been in the workout game for years, for five, 10 years. And I was just a novice. I was new to this. They didn't know what to eat. They didn't practice the right stuff to others in that term without doing the right things. They were doing the right things. I didn't care to find out what they were doing that worked for them or, or follow their workout resume. No. I'm like, she's fit, he's fit. Why can't I get fit? I can I can I can get better than that. Don't compare yourself. You don't know. Everybody have their own uh, muscle composition. A workout that may work for someone may not work for you. But for me, it didn't matter. I'm like, if they're this fit, I can get fit ASAP. I didn't care about how much time they put into their body, how many years. Don't set unrealistic goals, okay? So this is the next step. Not sleeping enough. Guys, I didn't care about sleeping. I would get ready, go to the gym, stay down onto the clothes. Because back then I thought staying at the gym longer would get me the result that I want. Mind you, I'm doing everything wrong. Don't do that, okay? The next step is not eating the right food. Not eating the right food. Guys, I emphasize on nutrition more than working out. This is me. I'm super. Yes, super is like my favorite word, okay? I'm sure you know that by now. I'm super big on nutrition. Nutrition for me is life. It should be for you too. Nutrition for me should be life. And you, it should be for all of us. Nutrition is like key like I say, do not work out until your nutrition is on point. I meant it from experience. I was eating, I was eating a lot, thinking, okay, by eating a lot, I'm going to get, you know, the result that I want. It's not about eating a lot. It's what you eat a lot of. Not that I was eating unhealthy. It's what I was eating. There's no way you could have given me the result that I wanted. One, it was too much calories. It defeated the uh, uh, healthy aspect of the food. Way too much calorie. I ate any time of the day. I didn't restrain myself. Eating too stress. I was so stressed. You know, working out or starting a health journey, and I quote, my health journey back then as a novice, in quotation mark. I was so stretched. It shouldn't, it shouldn't stretch you out. Why are you stressed if you're trying to get healthy? Health and stress do not go hand in hand, okay? It's, it doesn't work like that. So if you set up a goal, I'm here to tell you that you need to be patient, practice patience, and be reasonable. Your goals have to be realistic. Eat the right food. Don't be too obsessed. Avoid comparing yourself to others. It takes time. It takes time to build the muscle that you want. It takes time to get there. It takes time to get the aesthetic you want. But overall, remember the priority, the main reason why you're working out. Aesthetics should be secondary. Health should be your primary goal, okay? Mm -hmm.